What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. Today I'm gonna to quickly show you guys how to convert your HTC 10 Unlock variant to a full-blown Verizon variant. Uh, basically, we're just going to be flashing the Verizon radio over to the Unlock version of the HTC to unlock those Verizon compatible radios so that you can insert your already available Verizon SIM into this phone and use it on Verizon's network. This means you'll be able to have Unlock Bootloader, S-Off, Root, custom recovery and still be able to use this unlocked version of the HC10 on Verizon's network. Big shout outs to Dot Tat for providing us with the radio and the method. You will have to be s offed and you'll have to stay s off as long as you're using this particular radio. And I will have links in the description of how to get your phone to an s off state. Uh, you'll need to use the Sunshine application by the root.ninja and you'll also need to have an unlocked bootloader and be rooted prior to this process. What you want to do here is grab the radio from this link here. There's just a few commands that we will have to run. So I'm going to go into the ADB folder here and shift right click, open command window here. We're going to go ahead and boot the phone into bootloader mode. So ADB, reboot, bootloader. Okay, your phone should be in bootloader mode now. And then it says that we need to be, uh, it says to boot to bootloader, and then we're gonna fast boot flash the Verizon radio. So we will make sure that we drop this file into the same folder as our ADB and fast boot. So there's our image there in our fast boot folder. We'll copy the fast boot flash radio image. Go ahead and copy that. Go back into your command prompt. And I believe you need to be in the download mode. So we'll go to download mode, hit power. Once we're in download mode, we should be able to flash our radio. Next, we're gonna go into the dialer and we are going to uh, type star pound, star pound, four, six, three, six, pound, star, pound, star. That should launch the testing menu. From there, you're gonna go into phone information. Scroll down to where you see the GSM here, and you're gonna choose the CDMA, EVDO, GSM, WCDMA, LTE, auto here. So it's there, it's selected. And we should be able to back out of this and insert our Verizon SIM. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert, insert my Verizon SIM, and I should have uh, mobile data and calls with Verizon. As you guys can see, I now have my mobile data enabled there uh, through Verizon. Unfortunately, it looks like it's on 3G and I've read some people say that their phone was stuck on 3G and they could never really get LTE. And even .tat says that this is kind of in the beginning stages. It needs more development. Uh, many people have posted images showing that they're on 4G LTE. So maybe the connectivity just won't be as strong at first. Hopefully we'll be able to fix this up and get it working a whole lot better than it already is. Anyways, guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. Follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.